Hi, this is Dr. Tai from Premier Orthodontics. and In this video, we're going to answer the question, how do braces work? We'll show you both the mechanical and scientific side of braces that will help you see how braces move teeth. So let's get started. Today we're talking all about how braces work. But as a reminder, we post braces related content on our channel every week. So if you're thinking about getting started with braces, make sure to subscribe to see more videos. So when it comes to braces, most people know that they help move teeth into place. But unless you're an orthodontist, you're probably curious, how do they actually work? There are quite a few different parts that an orthodontist may use to straighten teeth. But for this video, we'll describe the three most important components of braces. Then we'll explain how each part works. So the three most important parts of braces are brackets, arch wires, and otize ligatures or clips. So a bracket is the small metal part of the braces that is bonded to your teeth. And the bracket doesn't actually move any of the teeth, rather it acts as a handle for the other parts. So brackets can come in several different designs and styles and it is up to the orthodontist's discretion on what design or style will be right fit for you or your child. Once the proper bracket is chosen, it is bonded to the teeth using a dental adhesive, and once the bracket is bonded to your tooth, the tooth can then be engaged with the next part of braces, the arch wire. So the arch wires are springy, and they're shaped into what is the ideal position for your teeth. So when these arch wires are engaged into the brackets, they'll gradually start pulling your teeth into the right position. So this is the technical process behind moving your teeth into the ideal position. So in nearly every case, the orthodontist will begin your braces with a very thin and flexible arch wire. That way the wire is exerting very little force and therefore light amounts of pressure on your teeth. And as your teeth gradually get straighter, the orthodontist will usually use thicker and stiffer wires to gradually move your teeth into the ideal position. So in order to move teeth with an arch wire, an orthodontist needs to attach the wire to the bracket. So this is where the final key part of braces comes in, the O-ties or bracket clips. So O-ties or orthodontic ligatures are the little colored elastics that go around your braces. These little colored rings may be the most flashy part about braces, but they aren't just for style. They help to pull the arch wire into the bracket and ligate or tie the wire into the bracket. However, not all bracket types use O-ties. Some bracket types will use a clip rather than O-tie to engage the arch wire into the bracket. These type of brackets are usually called self-ligating, which is just a fancy term for saying that they tie the arch wire without the use of O-ties. So now we're going to talk about the scientific side of how braces move teeth. So to help you understand how teeth are able to move, it's first helpful to get a basic anatomy lesson. So we're gonna talk about the teeth, jawbone, and gums. So the roots of your teeth are surrounded by bone. And when a steady and consistent outside force is applied to a tooth over a long period of time, the bone on one side of the tooth is removed by cells in your blood, and the new bone is laid down on the other side of the tooth. So your tooth essentially forges a new path provided by bone. And when a tooth moves, the bone, gums, blood vessels, and everything else travel along with the tooth and help it travel safely and securely into a new position. All right, so how do braces fit into this process? The arch wire with the help of the bonded brackets place consistent pressure on the teeth. This pressure signals the cells in your body to start removing bone from the current position and building bone in the new position that the pressure wants your teeth to go. The teeth will generally move about one millimeter per month as long as the pressure on the tooth is continuous. And whenever the pressure stops, the tooth will stop moving. The important thing to know here is that tooth movement takes time. At your first braces visit, you can expect a small wire that applies a very light pressure to the teeth. This wire will be kept in place for about four to eight weeks, and after this period of time, the pressure mostly goes away. So on your second visit, a slightly stiffer wire is placed into position, and the teeth begin to feel pressure again, making new bone and moving along again. So this cycle continues every four to eight weeks until the orthodontist sees that your teeth have finally moved into the ideal position for a healthy and happy smile. So whether you're moving teeth with braces, Invisalign, elastics, or any type of orthodontic device, the process is very similar. Forces are applied to your teeth over a period of time, and then your body will allow the teeth to move into a new position by removing bone on one side of the tooth and laying bone down on the other side of the tooth. So hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions about how braces work, feel free to ask them in the comments section below, and we'll do our best to answer. If you found this information helpful, please help us out by giving this video a like. Also make sure to subscribe to our channel for more braces related content, and make sure to tap that bell. And if you're living in the Phoenix, Arizona area, we would love to see you for a 100% free consultation. At this consultation appointment, we'll answer all of your questions and give you a custom treatment plan to help fix you or your child's teeth. 
Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.